Hi Taurus, this reading is for the Taurus men. Let me just see something. I think it's blurry. Why is it doing that? Here, let's just get this here. All right. Okay. My spirit guides, please keep out all the other energies. We've done the toxic reads for the day. I had two readings. One was about a breakup and a narcissist was the other. So we're done with that energy. Shall I sage it up? Why not? My daughter's going to wake up complaining. Well, what have you done? You stunk up the whole house with sage again. Okay. Spirit guides. Let's clear the energy. Get rid of all that other... Those other messages. We've, we've given them. That's it. Okay, let's get a reading for the Taurus men. What do we have for the Taurus men, please? This here, I like it. What do we have for the Taurus men? What do they need to know? What do they need to know in love and romance for Saturday and Sunday, the 21st and 22nd? What do they need to know? What do the Taurus men need to know? What do they need to know? What messages are there, please? Healing. Four swords. All right. On the bottom, star. Healing again. Healing. Sexual healing? I don't know. Four of swords. Maybe taking a trip, a break. Justice. And the queen of swords. Mm, maybe this is something to do with an ex-wife. Ex-girlfriend, the righting of a wrong, something that they've perceived as an injustice. And the two of swords flew out and five of wands fighting. Not sure which way to go. There's some kind of jealousy fighting conflict here with an ex. What else is there? The star looks like it's just... You have somebody in mind. You're working towards some kind of healing. King of Wands, creating, manifesting, taking action. Yep, taking action. You're moving forward quickly, wanting to communicate. Let somebody understand or know how you feel. It's all like aggressive, masculine energy with the King of Wands. And the speed and the focus of the Knight of Swords. Well then, what else is this? Sun. Okay, we got sunny happy days, sunshine, happiness, truth, clarity. We got the death card showing transformation. There you are, Taurus, the King of Pentacles. Stable, happy, successful, solid. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. You're very happy. You got something that you really wanted. This is something new. Ooh, a commitment. This is beautiful. This is Fresh Start, Clean Slate, taking a leap of faith. This is a rite of passage, some new beginning. Maybe for some of you, like marriage, like you're going to take the leap. X is super grumpy, super mad. Just fighting about that. What else do we have? Two of Wands is making plans, taking action again, okay, setting something in motion. There could be long distance. Knight of Wands is showing that there is some kind of, mm, some kind of guard up, okay, some, somebody's defensive. And I guess like it could be your own uh, issues or past traumas or hurts or whatever. It's called the Wounded Warrior card. So it's where you put a guard up. Queen of Cups. Someone who's very intuitive, psychic, spiritual, and open, receptive, loving, tasteful, artistic. I don't know. She's feeling things deeply. She, If this is her energy... Mm, 
Ten of Cups is receptive. What else is there? Unless they're the ones who are like, I don't know, devil. Devil and, okay, this is somebody who is super lusty. Union. There's somebody here who is obsessive, controlling, um, sexually, like a sexual addict type of person. Why? Because I have the strength card with the devil. Strength card, when it speaks to the lower aspect of the strength card, that speaks to the beast nature, the, um, the sexual side, right? And also, you know, playing on your lack of confidence or courage, insecurities. What else is... Someone trying to control you through, see the control here, like the feminine is holding this lion's mouth shut. And the devil here is controlling the lovers. So it's like you have two different energies here of control. You know, a positively aspected, this is showing inner strength, courage. With the devil, it looks like somebody trying to use their strength or use their power uh, over the other person to control um, them. Got the King of Cups. King of Cups and the Queen of Cups is a perfect match. Some kind of gift, message related, someone from your past you want to offer love to, that you've been iced out by, or you iced them out, or there's some kind of like left out in the cold feeling. Anything else? This is like somebody who's feeling very loving and romantic, like going there with the Page of Wands. It could be literally like a bouquet of flowers in your hand, like wanting to offer love, feeling romantic, wanting to start something, initiate something with the King of Wands, um, going in quickly. Yeah, this is like a happy time. This weekend, it looks like it's like a the blooming of love or something. I don't know. But there's some ex that is not happy about what's going on. Got the Page of Cups. And the Knight of Pentacles. This is a sincere offer. It's it's Page of Cups and Knight of Pentacles. Wanting to build with this person. Magician manifesting a connection. Magician look sending like a romantic offer out with a Knight of Cups. Temperance, patience. Okay, so what's the outcome for this situation? Outcome. Or, okay, let's switch it to, what's the advice, Spirit? What advice is there for the Taurus man? What advice? What advice is there for the Taurus man? What advice? What advice is there for the Taurus man? Thank you. Oh, work on your partnership. Work on your partnership. Seven of Pentacles, something that you've been cultivating and working on. And trying to, you know, create a connection here. It's saying Seven of Pentacles. You've been waiting for this. Eight of Pentacles is to work on it. What? The Two of Cups. Your partnership. Work on your partnership. All right. Let's get a... Let's try the song thing. Ooh. That just flew out. What do we have? Is there a song for the day, please? Is there a song for the day? I mean, song for the weekend for Taurus, for the Taurus man. Is there a song for the Taurus man? I'll just take the one that's on the top. Wanna be loved. Oh, ain't no such. Wanna be loved is sweet. Not for who you think I am, not what you want me to be. Could you love me for me? Real love. With, and it's all about like this person. I love Buju, by the way. And that Till Shiloh CD is one of my favorites. Loved it when it came out. Listened to it all the time. Anyways, the whole song is about if it means contention, I'd rather be alone. Right? So this is someone, like, and he's a handsome guy, Buju, Banton. Anyways, I just saw him recently in concert wearing red. He looked gorgeous. Anyways, he is singing to say that he's willing to stay single 
and alone if it's not everything that he wants. And so he wants to be loved, but, you know, for who he is. And he doesn't want to have any, like, other people that there's competition, contention, whatever. And so that's where the guard up is. That's cute. That's sweet. Anything else, Spirit? That's so cute. Taurus, you're a cutie. That's super cute. <sighs> Taurus men. Any other song for the Taurus man? 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 Any other song? Let's cut the deck. Okay, I'll cut the deck. I'll take the middle pile. Okay, so we have When I Was Your Man. Ooh. You belong with me, Taylor Swift. What? For some of you, maybe that's relevant. Maybe there's... Oh my God. Maybe there's somebody who's singing to you that you belong with me because you know the whole story behind that where she's singing to this one girl who's always making him cry and the other one is like the one who is the girl next door who's always liked him someone you know very well and the other one is like a more high maintenance one whatever okay if that resonates when I was your man oh, I can't freaking recall is it the one if you ever leave me leave some morphine at the door is that the one I just felt a pinch on my arm let's see it would take a whole lot of medication to realize that what we have, we don't have it anymore. Da, 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 da. What is the words? Well, this is what... Oh, here, my phone. Thank goodness. When I was your man. Let me look it up. I'm old now. I don't remember. When I was your man. Lyrics. Oh, I should have bought you flowers and held your hand. Should have gave you all my hours when I had the chance. Take you to every party because all you wanted to do was dance. Now my baby's dancing, but she's dancing with another man. My pride, my ego, my needs, my selfish ways caused a good, strong woman like you to walk out my life. Now I never, never get to clean up the mess I made and it haunts me every time I close my eyes. Well, this is interesting, you know. It goes like, I hope he buys you flowers and all that kind of stuff. This is his song for Miley Cyrus. And you know, she responded with flowers. I can buy myself flowers. I can hold my own hand. Uh, what is it? Mm. I can buy myself flowers. Talk to myself for hours. Say things you don't understand. I can take myself dancing. I can... Something, something, I can love me better than you can't. Well, that's, that's all that. Enjoy that drama. I'm done. I don't, I don't care. I'm sorry. I hope you can make sense of it. I'm just giving you the cards and telling you what it means. But my, my, my head hurts. This is a spirit junkie. Thank you. When I see good in others, I acknowledge it out loud. Great. And all that I love is more important to me than all that I fear. Okay. Hope that resonates. Let's get a crystal. This is for the weekend. Then we'll get some love cards. Um, I should have probably started with that. Let's see. Spirit guides. What messages are there for the Taurus? Thank you. Forgiveness. Empowerment. 
take it as you like. Okay, we have Whispers of Love. What do we have for the Taurus man, please? Sorry, Taurus, I'm not trying to be a jerk. I just, I, I, when I don't get it, I just don't, I don't know. Okay, focus on love. Look for the good attributes in each and every person in your life. And then there's forgiveness too here. And back to what you love. Your current situation is giving you an opportunity to reevaluate what you love. And then let's get a journey of love. Journey of love. Can we get a spirit, spirit guys? Can we get a card for Taurus? Thank you. She loves. And on the bottom, distant shores. She loves. What's the she loves? Number 61 says, this oracle brings you a message um, from the divine. You are forgiven. See? Forgiveness. You are forgiven. You are worthy of forgiveness. And you're capable of great spiritual generosity in forgiving others. If there is a person that you cannot forgive, you are really just not forgiving yourself. Perhaps for being vulnerable, for not knowing better, or for not listening to your own intuition. It's time to let that go and allow the forgiveness that the divine has for you to fill your heart. You are free now. You just need to realize it. And then the poem says, the cherry blossom knows when to bloom each year and never questions whether its beauty is enough. There is enough in knowing you always bloom well, yet man spends a lifetime in wonder. Okay, so the first part of it is forgiveness is here for you now. Can you partake of it? Forgiveness for your own self, for the times you messed up, didn't love, forgot to trust, tried to take over and decided against surrender. Forgiveness is here for you now for the times when you couldn't forgive another, even if you really tried and really wanted to. She loves. She's here for you now. Open your heart to the angel goddess of forgiveness and let her fill your heart. You are free. So there's something here saying that it's about forgiveness. Focus on love, forgiveness. Oh, my God. Something where it looks like it's some kind of insecurity. Is that what that, that where's that line? Where's the, where's the, the strength card? Oh, it's here. See, the, the devil and the strength card. It's insecurity. You were insecure? But why? Insecure. Like even the Buddha Banton song, Want to Be Loved, is like, if it means contention, I'd rather be alone. And you belong with me? You take it however it resonates, but it looks like Taurus, which I'm very surprised. It looks like you are insecure. You have a toxic ex. Maybe they're the ones who are shit-talking all the time. I don't know, but like, this is where you have to forgive others. You have to forgive yourself. And, you know, what is this? All that I love is more important to me than all that I fear. It's your fears and your insecurities. That's so weird. Every Taurus guy I know, they're all handsome and charming and attractive and, you know, sexy. They've got they've got that Venus energy on top. I mean, like, every single one. I'm doing these readings for Taurus men. There was one in particular that I was, like, as a friend, doing these readings for. And then there's other Taurus guys that I know from my past. The super cuties. They're attractive. I don't get it. What are you scared of? It's so weird. So you're, you're, you're scared that you don't measure up or something or like you're, I, that's so weird. It's in your head. You're crazy. Okay. You're crazy, Taurus. I don't even know what you're thinking. That's ridiculous. Oh my God. Like you, oh my God. This is one of those situations where you're like, the feminine is thinking all other things and then come to find out that you are super insecure you're nuts oh my gosh okay what card what card let's get a let's get a uh, african goddess rising goddesses can we get a message for taurus for the taurus man what does taurus need to know this taurus man need to know please what guidance is there for this taurus man holy moly See, betrayal. It's like, how did you betray yourself? Truth. Live out loud. Truth with Goddess Nunde. She had a husband who had several wives. And it says that, you know, she was hurt because he would constantly keep looking at other women. 
he was never satisfied. So what she does is one day she goes off and gets takes a lover and she lives happily ever after again. Like that's and then betrayal. Is that what it is? Is that you got did you get cheated on? Is that what this is? I don't know. Betrayal. Aunt Nancy betrayal. Okay, let's read these. See what this recipe is. But you know what, Taurus? That's super cute. That is cute. Better than being a, a toxic dick. Aunt Nancy betrayal. Thirty-four. Goddess of Truth, Benin Temple Griots, to Element Water, Nunde, the bold, outspoken wife of Benin Iwa, which means deity Legba, was feeling neglected by her husband. Even with several wives, his head easily turned. So Nunde lived her truth, took her own lover, and became her own best friend. Her guidance, get real. What is your truth? Truth telling matters. Being able to hear the truth matters just as much. Embodiment, tell the truth. Each person has their own version. Speak yours. Words have impact. Remember that we all have triggers. Think before you speak and listen with compassion. Be gentle and stay calm in truth telling conversations. Goddess declaration, the truth is my friend. And then betrayal number 20. Okay, so Shadow of Betrayal, Diaspora, Akan, Akan, I don't know, Temple Shadows, Element Air, Anansi or Kwaku Anans, the Akan trickster, god, and sacred clown snuck into our global folk tales while Gulagichi children heard tales of Aunt Nancy, the tricky spider woman. My Guyanese parents entertained us with Nancy stories about a witty teen spider. So her guidance, who really betrayed you? Betrayals from others mirrors you betraying yourself. Embodiment. Betrayal is a web that disrupts everything you thought you knew. Use discernment in your relationships. Betrayal makes it difficult to trust. But without trust, your relationships are a lie. Trust that no matter what happens and no matter how long it takes, you will survive and thrive. The real question, how have you betrayed or abandoned yourself? Goddess declaration, I'm willing to know the truth. And there's the truth. And saying the goddess declaration for Aunt Nancy is, I am willing to know the truth. Something about somebody who's cheating. Anyways, shall we get, a, did I get crystals? Yes, I did. Anything else? Maybe I'll do one tantric Dakini oracle card. Let's see what we get. Final card, spirit card. I know I did the goddesses already, but let's see a final card please for the Taurus man. Final card for the Taurus man. Okay, we got the rose garden. Just passing through recall memory and high tension. Yeah, okay. And like a bubble. But let's get one card. Spirit guys, can we get one card for the Taurus man? Phoenix. Perfect. And deep end. Phoenix and deep end. Ooh, ally. The ally card, it, I read it because I was like, is, it represents the devil energy, but it's different because it's saying if you speak the truth and the devil can't get the hooks into you to control you if you haven't done anything wrong. Also, you can, when you meet with obstacles or toxic energies, you can use the devil. This is not a devil devil. It's a more, it's a Buddhist take on it. Anyway, so this is uh, something where you use this energy of I'm not even going to go into it as, as, as some kind of like ally or protector, but not the devil. Okay. So the Phoenix and the deep end, I should put this on the stand. Here we go. Does this go? Let's go like this, make some room over here and deep end. Phoenix is number what? Let me look it up. Okay, I can't see. Oh, where is it? Phoenix is 19. It's a sun card. Perfect. You got the sun card already. You're going to be happy. You're going to be fine. 19.
Yeah, it's the sun of the traditional tarot. So, rebirth, the rays of the sun re-emerging after the darkness of night, liberation of the spirit previously imprisoned in matter, fire levels all things, reducing all the structures of mankind to ashes, out of the ashes of the fire of passion, there rises the capacity for selfless love. Meditate on this aspect and on its power of transmutation for... To love is to see love everywhere and on all things. Indication of this card is success in the place located in the tree of life. At the base center, it may indicate marriage. In the heart, an affair. In the head, it tells of fulfillment. Let's read deep end. 51. It is the cups in the minor arcana. A mermaid, half woman, half fish is de depicted diving deep into seemingly bottomless waters represents the plunge of the psyche of the seeker into the waters of the unconscious. The adaptability of the self is symbolized by the partial transformation into a fish, that, indicating that it is an unknown area requiring such psychic adaptability in order to make the plunge fearlessly. So the divinatory meaning, abandon restrictions made by the ego and let yourself go freely in the all-enveloping ocean of emotion. It's saying just dive deep. Don't be abandon the ego. This represents a situation where one finds oneself in an alien environment needing adaptability when located again okay, I was going to the tree of life okay it's the sun card it's saying like in love it's a great great card great message to get um happiness success and you got the sun here as well it it's it's all saying like don't self-sabotage and do not you know let this other energy control you or or i'm just gonna leave it there that's your reading taurus i'll be back with your weeklies have a great weekend talk to you soon bye